In this video, I wanna give you six tips that you should know as a video editor editing audio in Premiere Pro. Before I get going, I just wanna let you know that this video is spontaneously awesome and it's sponsored by Adobe. One second, please. You want me to lose the whole spontaneously awesome thing? Well, our viewers are in luck because the first tip is to edit on the consonant. When splicing two takes together, you may be familiar with trying to find a point of silence, making your cut, and then putting in the good take after that point of silence. But another common trick is to actually cut on a consonant, and the ones that work really well are the ones that have that kind of white noise in them, the t, f, k, p, or in this case, the s from spontaneous and the s from sponsored. If I try and use the previous take that you just saw, this is what you'll get. I just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Adobe. It doesn't sound very good, right? Well, that's because the inflection and the pacing is off, and what we could do to alleviate this issue is overdub it, which leads me to tip number two, how to record voice directly onto the tracks inside Premiere Pro. In this circumstance, I'm kind of gonna be treating this as if it were ADR, or automated dialogue replacement, but this same process is how you would record voiceovers directly onto the track inside Premiere Pro. Before trying to record to a track, I wanna make sure that my audio hardware is set up correctly. So I'm gonna go to the negative space on my track one, which I've relabeled to VO right here. I'm gonna right click in that negative space, go to voiceover record settings. We can rename the track and here is where you would choose the source. Currently I'm using my Rodecaster Pro as my device, but if you don't have anything plugged in, this will most likely be your laptop or whatever you use as an external mic. If you have an interface that has multiple inputs, you could choose that right here. And below you can see it gives you a preview of the volume levels from your source. After setting up the hardware, the most important button is this microphone emblem right here. That's the voiceover record button. It'll give me a three count before it will start recording. I'm going to hit this microphone down here because it's gonna have the same record settings as my microphone up top and hit that mic icon to start the record. Audio in Premiere Pro. And before I get going, I, I just, just wanna, wanna let you know, know that, that this video, video is sponsored by Adobe. I kinda like my second take better. So there's my s for my overdub. Let's move it into the spot and see how it turned out. And before I get going, I just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Adobe. Now, obviously there's some syncing issues, but I could easily cover up that VO with Adobe's logo, which is a great segue to the next audio tip, rectified audio waveforms. Here we have a timeline of me saying the word Adobe and all of those waveforms are rectified, meaning that the audio waveform comes up from the bottom like this. It's the default setting inside Premiere Pro. And here is a timeline of me saying the word max where the waveforms are not rectified, AKA the audio waveforms are in the middle as opposed to on the bottom as they were before. By complete coincidence, if you were to take these two timelines and put them together, they would say Adobe Max, which is Adobe's creative conference held October 20th through the the 22nd online this year, completely free with 350 plus speakers. There's a link to register to this completely free conference in my description below. Now, all coincidences aside, if you're somebody like me, I like to edit all of my waveforms, not in the rectified form, so in that middle way. So if you want to do that, go up to the three bar menu at the top of your timeline window, scroll to rectified audio waveforms, and boom, we have switched it to non-rectified audio waveforms. As I mentioned before, there are 350 plus speakers at Adobe Max, and some of the ones that I'm looking forward to seeing are people like Conan O'Brien, Aver DuVernay, Marshmallow, Nick Offerman, Wes Anderson, Common, and one of my personal favorites, Ian Sanzavera of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Who doesn't love that guy? He's a great tutorializer. Love the word tutorializer, by the way. And if you haven't noticed, is my audio off? Well, that leads us to number four, how to sync audio to sound in Premiere. One piece of advice here that's pretty universal on all film productions before I dive into Premiere Pro is while you are filming, before you start your take, say then take number and clap on camera. That's where the clappers come from. The reason you do that is because you have a nice, clean, clear attack transient on your waveforms from all different sources that you can then sync up visually in post. One super pro tip to save you even more time is to write the take number on the slate and have the slate in frame in focus on the very first frame when you hit record on your camera. What this does is it makes the thumbnails of all your different videos, the very first frame is the different take numbers, which makes organizing all of your files so much faster in post. Another thing to note is that if you forget to slate at the beginning of the take, you can always slate at the end. So after all of that action is done, just say, Hey, hey guys, wait a minute, we're gonna do a tail slate and then you 
hit that slate at the end. Trust me, your video editors or whoever's syncing everything in post will love you so much more if you do those few steps. With all that in mind, let's show you the easy way to sync audio to sound in Premiere Pro. The most common way to sync audio to sound on the timeline is to make sure the clips are on separate tracks, highlight the clips that you want to sync, right click and go to synchronize. We want to synchronize these clips by audio, hit OK. It's going to process it and boom. Now, if you notice, the clip on the bottom is still a little bit ahead of the clip on top. And if we want to fine tune this sync, I'm going to try and move this, but it still won't match up perfectly. That's because we're still moving our audio clips by frames, which leads us into the next audio tip, show audio time units. On the timeline, go up to that same three bar menu that we did before. And instead of going to rectified audio waveforms, now we're going to go to show audio time units. The first thing to notice is how your time code has switched at the top of the timeline. Instead of having 24 frames per second, which is what my sequence was at, now I can zoom in to a whopping 48,000 hash marks in between between each second. That's the sampling rate. And just to show that to you, I'm going to go up to sequence, sequence settings, and right here is the sampling rate. So if it's 48,000, that means for each second on the timeline now, you could nudge your playhead 48,000 times before it gets to the next second. That is bonkers and gives you complete control. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and check it out. So I can zoom in much further in this mode as opposed to before. And look at how fine tuned you could get this all the way to the pixel. That's crazy. And you can see it line up perfectly now. After I'm done adjusting my waveforms, I always like to switch back to normal frames per second immediately. That way I don't accidentally get things off sync. And if you notice now that I'm in frames per second, my playhead cannot butt up against the bottom clip. So in order to alleviate something like this and not accidentally bump it, is to create a cut evenly on a frame. That way I don't accidentally move the bottom clip off the sync that I've already done in post. Depending on which audio waveform you want to use, let's say this was a scratch track, I'm just gonna hold option on my computer, delete this one and move this clip up, highlight the video clip that it's paired with. While I'm highlighting the audio track, right click and I'm going to link this video clip to this new audio clip that's now synced. As I mentioned before, there are 350 plus speakers at Adobe Max. And now we're on sync. Let's say you've already registered for Adobe Max like myself by clicking the link in my description. And it's either October 20th, the 21st or the 22nd and you're watching one of these amazing speakers at the conference. Like right now, I'm gonna just kind of like role play. I'm gonna be in front of my computer and I'm getting so creatively inspired, just learning so many new things. And I think to myself, golly, Adobe Max is so fun and awesome. Well, if you looked at my lips, I probably didn't say the word fun. I said something else, but just to make this family friendly, I changed it to the word fun. You know how I did that? By editing on the consonant. Ooh, it was a callback, boom. But let's say I wanted to censor out the word fun instead of saying the word fun on screen. Well, it's really easy to censor stuff in Premiere Pro. Let me show you how. Here we have the word fun, fun and awesome. And in order to beep that, go to the negative space in your project window. Right click, new item, bars and tone, gonna hit okay. Bring that onto the timeline that will give you bars and tone. We do not need the bars obviously. So I'm gonna hold option while I click the top clip, delete that, and this gives you tone. Now I'm going to move this into position right over the word fun. So now it's going to sound like Adobe Max is so awesome. <laughs> That was great. So if you want to have a fun and awesome time, like I know I will at Adobe Max, that's October 20th, 21st and the 22nd, and it's completely free, check out the registration link in my description below. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below on some of the audio tricks that you like to do in Premiere Pro. And if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe if you like my tutorial style. If you do attend Adobe Max, let me know in the comments down below. I know I'm gonna be there. Until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye. Adobe, 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 Adobe,
Max, 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 Max,